feel the lovely weather. Hold on. Daniela, use your spoon for that. How many times have I told you to stop holding the bowl like that? I don't know how many times I have to tell you. <sighs> Jesus. I said stop that. <sighs> Did you sleep? <sighs> Give me! What is this mess? Udu, Udu, you know how much I hate this kind of mess and yet you allow me to come down to see it. What is this? Can't you be a lot tidier? Must I come down to see this? I need to go. If you can't get these kids ready in 10 minutes time, you get yourself an Uber. But wait, how about you help me with DJ so that I could clean Daniela up? That way we'll be fast no, time. No, 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 I'm not getting dirty. All right, I have a board meeting to attend to. Get these kids ready. Look, 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 look at her. That is my daughter. She's not going to school like that. Change her into something else. Change this. Change their clothes. Stop. 
Ten minutes. Go to the kitchen, go to the kitchen. Okay. Fish. Oh, can you just bring these kids out? Good morning. Uh, off to work? Yeah, yes, I'm off to work. I'm actually running late. Just waiting for my kids. Oh, okay. Have a good day. Uh, yeah, you too. Oh, yeah, let's go, let's go. We're late, we're late, we're late. Close the door. Get these kids inside. Good morning. Babe. I don't understand you, Mama. Get inside the car. Going, 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 going. Moving, moving. Come in. Yeah. Hope your, your pack bag is inside. Eh? Can you hear me? Baby. Yes? Babe, we need to talk. Hey, we talk when I'm back. Well, you need to come back early because it's urgent. I've heard you. When I'm back, please. Why are you frowning like that? I beg, marriage is not for me. Ah, in the end, women get the shorter end of the stick. How do you mean? Okay, for example, so as they age, men become daddies or zaddies. But what do women become, I beg? Mama? <laughs> it's not that deep. It's please. very deep, oh, it's more than deep. But, anyways. How's our man friend doing? He's not man friend for me. <sighs> it's husband. Hmm. Husband K. All right. Oh, look, Peggy. Benga was just for you to play with. I mean, like a welcome to Lagos kind of package. Yeah, I know you said so, but he keeps talking about it. Yoruba demons will say or do anything to get what they want. Thank God it's not like that. <laughs> no problem, if you say so. But I just hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, I do. You worry too much. Fine. That's fine. Whatever you say, Peggy. Bro, I think I will just uh, I'll drop you at the bar because I'm not sure I was there. Hey, what's your happen now? Who died? No, it's just my wife. She's been fusing of lately. I don't even know why. And now she wants us to talk tonight. Bro, when Oga said, come over to the bar, let's have a few drinks, he wasn't making a request of us. He made it an order. For us to follow. Yeah, right. yeah, it was an another. Huh? What of Maria? Is she going? She's not going. Bro, Maria is a woman. You are a man now. Eh? And so? Huh. Oh, so you don't understand. Maria has back home. Maria has a husband. You, who you get? How am I going to handle this man, madam? How? Bro, this thing here is work. This is work. Do you understand? Most deals are handled over a few bottles of beer. Even most times, more than it happens inside the inside the boardroom. True. Yeah. True. But I don't want to spoil this relationship I have with this man. Um, not at all. You can't. You can't even spoil it. You can't. Yeah. Hey, but hold on a second. What is it with wives these days? How do you mean? Now, compare our wives these days to our mothers back in the day. Mm -hmm. Our mothers will have six, seven children. But these days, feminists will have just two or three. Mm -hmm. And then there's noise all over the place. Our mothers don't even make any noise then. No wahala, no stress. Sure. Look, I mean, they even make so much noise that they overshadow our own uh, demands and uh, uh, problems. It makes it feel like maybe the men don't even have any issues at all. Right. Yeah. Mm. 
Daniel, I told you that I wanted to speak to you and look at the time you're coming back. How can you be so insensitive? I would not have you talk to me like that in my own house. I won't. And who is insensitive? No. How insensitive can you be? I come back from work, exhausted from working overtime, and this is how you receive me? What's dirty overtime? Hmm? Or you're now working an alcohol brewing company because you are reeking of alcohol. See, that's it. Right there. This is the problem. This is your sore attitude. You think you're the only one that goes through stress? I go through stress myself. But you don't see me complaining. I don't tell you about the pressures I have and the things I go through. I don't. I handle my business. And when I close from work to come back to my own home, I walk into war. What is your problem? Oh, so you get to close from work. What? You heard me. After the pressure and all the stress that you have at work, what happens? <sighs> Would you? I'm so tired. I don't have time for this. Well, my tired is tired as well. Yes. My tired is tired because I don't get no days off. I work two for seven. Looking after your children, taking care of the house, looking after Enough you. Enough of this nonsense. What is your problem? Enough. What do you want? I need you to step up. Step up to what? I need a break. A break from what? From what? I need you to help me, Daniel. I can't do this anymore. I just need you to help me a little bit so that I can. So, 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 so that you can what? So you can what? Do I get a break? I don't. I still do my duties as a man. Do I get a break? So why should you? Daniel, this is not even the same thing. This is me in this house taking care of the children, taking care of you, doing all of that. I just need some time off. I can't do this anymore. You don't even try to lift a finger to help me. Who pays for the roof over your head? Who pays for the food you eat? Who pay? Do not make me say things I don't want to say. Well, Daniel, you would have to say those things because you will not leave here until you say that- You are lazy! Yes, I said it. You are a lazy woman. And mothers had more children, more than this. And what did they do? They held it down for the family. They never complained with iron hand. Just three kids. We're letting all hell break loose. Daniel, God will judge you. My God will judge you, Daniel. You call me, would you? Lazy. You don't know what I have to go through to look after these children, to take care of the house, to take care of you. How can you say this to me that I am lazy? God will judge you, Daniel. Big sis, I thought you were already asleep. No, I couldn't sleep. Me too. How did your neighbors always like this? Well, they didn't used to be. This constant arguing is new. And I wish the apartments were not so close. Yeah. Is that why you're still awake? No, it's Benga. Calling you, but he's not taking his calls. <laughs> Benga. Chop and run. I just hope you had fun and made some money while at it because rent will soon expire, my dear. Binga is not chop and run. <sighs> Seriously, I'm worried something has happened to him. Peggy, I can assure you that nothing, absolutely nothing has happened to Binga. He's fine. Mm -mm. I can't believe that. I'll check his office tomorrow. Do they tire? Like, so annoying. Daniel! I need some time before this small marriage we have is destroyed. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Don't look like I'm kidding. Uh, so you think the best thing to do is to just run off? Daniel, you can't you can't leave me with these kids. I've got into my way.
Danny boy. Hello, mommy. How are you? I'm uh, fine. How are you? I'm fine, no. <laughs> we thank God. Did you guys travel? I've been ringing the bell. You're there? Yeah. I'm not around, mom, but would you shoot me, mom? She, she may have stepped out, I guess. You know where this bag is? Make yourself comfortable. Uh, okay. I will. Hi, good afternoon, ma. Uh, so, I'm sorry I missed you. Hmm? When are you getting back? Oh, uh, in a few days. Oh. <laughs> anyway, you know Ibadan is not in another country. I'm so sorry, ma. I will do better, I promise. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know how busy you can get. Mm. Okay, let me leave you. Mm. Uh, I'll go in and see my daughter now. Bye. yesterday. You weren't picking your calls. So I said, let me come and look for you by myself. <coughs> Sorry, let me quickly prepare something for you to I did up the entire place. And why are they home so early? <laughs> so many questions. Well, 
the answer to all this is, I am simply amazing. <laughs> and they aren't home early. You've been asleep. Oh my God, it's 5 p.m. already. I've been asleep for hours. Yeah. I feel like such a terrible mom. You are a tired mom. Hmm? We need to talk. But first, go to the microwave. Your food is there. This is really so amazing. I mean, how did you... How did you cook, clean, put the kids together within such a short period of time? <laughs> I brought the food from home. And I picked the kids an hour late. That's how I was able to cope. Hmm? I'm amazing, I'm not a witch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't you eat your meat? Hmm? You eat your meat. How long has he been gone? Since Thursday night. Here! And today is Saturday. What kind of wickedness is this? Eh? What kind of irresponsibility? I was so upset. That lazy comment really got to me. Ah, he should shut up. He should shut up. What, what does he know? Eh? Can you... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so he will get tired. He should carry his bag and go. And leave you here to struggle. Eh? What, what kind of male privilege is this one? What, what sort of small boy behavior is it's all this one? Mm. Do you trust me? With what? I have a plan. Peggy, what's up? Talk to me now, you're scaring me. Oh, God. Hey, God, did somebody die? I'm the one that is dead, I'm dead. Peggy, stop being dramatic, what is it? It's Pega. Oh, got chop and clean mouth. <laughs> hmm? Oh, wait. Is he dead? He came. Oh, so he finally showed up. So why are you crying? He said I was disturbing him and what we had wasn't that deep. <laughs> then he wished me good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, wipe your tears. <laughs> that is, welcome to Lagos. <laughs> Why your first breakfast be that to wait and save you? Piggy now, you don't do. Uh -uh. There are men everywhere, even though most of them are useless. Oh, Gerola, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> like being I didn't break your heart too well, because you still find time for humor, Abby. Serious. Peggy. Are you a fool? Who gets pregnant for a fling? <laughs> he said he loved me and that he sees me in his future. Oh, wow. President of Sears Association. Okay, so what did he say about the pregnancy when you told him after seeing all of that? He said he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Of course he doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, Peggy, this is, is not so serious. I'll take you to my doctor friend tomorrow and they'll remove it. Eh? Remove what? No. Eh? 
Wait. So, <laughs> you're not okay with doing this, but you can fornicate. <laughs> you never start. <laughs> you never ready. You never start. <laughs> <laughs> Prince uh, Yeah. <laughs> you miss daddy? Here we go. How are you? My brother is sleeping. What are you doing? Assignment? Hey. Come here. Sit down. Which one? Show me. Which one did you do? I did this one. Ha! Ah. That's my girl. This one. Good. Oh, give me a finger. Give me a finger. Let's write it. So how do you write this one? No, don't write that. I just this one. Ooh, that's good. Uh, uh, sorry, where are you going with your bag and my son by the sound of the night? Oh, I'm following your lead. Mm, what do you mean? What do you mean? You think you can leave this house whenever you want and come back when you feel like? Well, I'm doing the same. <laughs> you, you can be serious. No, you're just joking. They play. They play. You, you, you want to be so what what hap no what happens to DJ and uh, and Daniela? What happens to them? Oh, when you left the other time, what happened to them? Hmm? What happened to them? Please, I don't have time for this. I beg. My ride is waiting for me outside. Which ride That's are you talking business. about? Would you would you, would you would you if you leave this house, if you open that door and walk out, you're not coming back in. I will not open this door for you in the morning. I'm telling you now, you're going straight to your father's house. Don't, you, you, you're taking my son outside. You think it's a joke? No, open the door and stay. Would you? No, let, let me take it as a joke. You are standing outside. I'll give you five minutes. Let mosquito not touch my son. Five minutes. 
Don't just, just, just stay there five minutes and don't come inside. Your, your, your time starts now. Don't want to hear you when you call my name. Don't want to see you, not today. Don't want to stand with you or even walk with you. Don't want to see you by my side. Oh, sad song. Because every day you bring pain. Every day you bring me sorrows, a strange feeling inside of me. I don't know. Tell me why you took away happiness and smiles, and you bring back Stay sadness. Okay. So don't play me a sad song. Would you? No, no, don't play me a sad song. Would you? I say don't make me sad I don't want to hear Would you? No, no This is how I feel This is what I see Everything is Would you? In case you don't uh. This is all I see. This is how I feel. That's your pee. He says, oh, boy, go, 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 go. Stop crying, okay? Stand. Why is your why is your clothes on bottom? Come here, come here, come here, come here. I took you in, you remove it. It's not fair now. The people should not mess your meal. It's not easy. It's okay, it's okay. Stop crying. Come, come, come. Hmm? Big boys, don't cry. Come here. Stop crying, stop crying. I need you. It's okay. Come, it's, it's okay now. This is equally PE. Huh? Stop crying. Sit, uh, stop crying. Stop crying, okay? You don't want to go with this one? I will tell the teachers. Yeah, that one. There, there, there is nothing wrong with this one, princess. This one is okay. I will tell the teachers myself that this is okay. Yeah? No. 
Stop crying. <laughs> sir, sir I, I am very, very sorry. I am so sorry. My wife fell ill unexpectedly. Okay, I, I did not know. Please, sir, first thing Monday morning, I'll have it sorted. I promise. I'm, 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 I'm very, very sorry, sir. I'm very, very sorry, please. Uju, Uju, so now your number is not reachable. Your number is not reachable, Uju. I, I don't know what your plans are. Whatever your plan is to destroy my livelihood, it will not work. It will not work. Come back to this house now. Come back to this. Will, will you stop that noise? Daddy, what is rubbish? Jesus. What kind of rubbish is this? <sighs> oh. Ah. It's okay, I will, I will make a pack of noodles for you, okay? But that noise, that noise, mommy, she's bad. Uh, mommy, mommy, she shut up, I beg. Daddy, you said a bad word. Not now, Daniela. Hello? Good afternoon, Mr. Okoro. This is Mr. Easy, the head of drama at the children's school. How are Daniela and DJ? We didn't see them. Today. I had car trouble. Sorry to hear that. Have you made arrangements for her to come this evening? What is happening this evening? The end of them plays final rehearsal. She is the main tree in the garden. Wait, you want me to bring my daughter because she's a tree? Ah, sir. Daniela is not just any tree. She is the old and wise tree. She has been practicing for you, 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 you guys don't know what parents go through. You don't. And you make your demands as you like. Get yourself another tree. Or, or, or better still, come and pick her yourself. She's a tree. Honey, how are you a tree? Why are you doing this to me? I'm Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. I'm right here. <clears throat> oh, definitely, what Chris is saying is right. We need to enforce, yeah, we need to make sure that we, we, we try everything possible to get what we want from them. Definitely, can you just come to this, move to this place, stay here. Nice to meet you. I am Mrs. Viola. I'm the vice principal from the children's school. I'm here to pick Daniela up. I don't understand. Um, you spoke with Mr. Eze earlier. You said we could come get her. Come. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello, darling. You had a conversation with Mr. Eze. You said we could come get her. You said we could come get her. So wait, you, you came all the way for a tree? Sir, not just any tree. Daniela is the wisest tree in the land. She's very important to us. I see. Do you have any ID? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Just a second. Okay. Daniela, come, come. Come, come. Hey. What is the name of your school? I don't know. Shh. Just tell me. Where can we get her stuff? Probably upstairs. Let's go. 
show you my how it gives my costume. Yes. Let's go. Uh, your ID card, please. Thank you. You guys for me. You guys hold it for me. <laughs> Look, Uju, I'm ready to be the bigger person here and forgive you. I'll pretend that this never happened. It never happened. And the only way I will forgive you is if you come back to this house this night. If you don't, I'm going to call a family meeting. Your family, my family. And I will tell them everything you've been doing, all the bad behaviors, I will tell them. It's not a warning. It's a promise. Come back this night. Person. <laughs> See this boy, you. <laughs> You're not serious. Just wait a bit, okay? Mommy will soon be back. Really? Yes. That makes me happy. It makes me happy too. Don't just very soon she'll be back, okay? Before you know it, go and lie back down. Go. Okay. Lie back. Daddy's walking, alright? Okay, Daddy. Let's go, lie down.
Daniela, go and wee wee now. We're a big girl. Just go and wee, okay? Go, go and wee wee. There's nothing in the toilet. Just go and sit down there and wait, yeah? But daddy... Uh, she was disturbing that. Oh, come, come, come and lie down. <laughs> Daniela! Get up, get up, get up! Get up! Come down, come down. Why did you pee on the bed? Look at your brother is sleeping peacefully. You are just making me stress this night. Come, 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 come. Did you put your leg down? Tony, Tony, use your, use your spoon and turn it. Daddy, hmm? we don't eat cereal on Saturdays. We only eat bread and egg and sausages. Uh, Daniela, this is what we have. Just eat it, okay? Uh, when mommy comes back, she will make all those. Just eat it, yeah? Uh, DJ, put your legs down. Daddy. Hmm? Just eat it, eat it. Eat your food. Daddy, when is mommy coming back home? <laughs> See, mommy travel, okay? She'll be back, yeah? Don't, don't just start crying. Eat your food. Okay. Just eat now. Eat, it's good. It's your favorite cereal. Okay. Hello? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine. How are you? Oh, oh good. Uh, my wife... Oh, you spoke to her? When? Oh, okay. No, no problem. Everything is fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Eat your food now. Eat. You're not eating. Eat your food. It's sweet. Uju, Uju, is this your plan? So you call the whole world, and when I call you, your number is unavailable. Me, your husband, I will call you and I will not reach you, but you are calling the whole world. No, no problem, just don't start this war with me. Don't start it, you won't like it. You won't like it, come back to this house. I'm, I'm begging you now. Okay, just eat your food, eat. Take, take, take. It's sweet now. This used to be your favorite cake. Eat. I know it's my favorite. I like it, but what of Saturdays we don't eat. Just eat, this. eat today for daddy, okay? I will make egg for you later. Just okay, be eating your daddy. food. Alpha. A day, a day, a day. I'm good, man. Just sleep. Sleep for where? I didn't get any sleep at all. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, the board meeting is for Thursday. I know, I know. Sorry, my brother. Uh, what? Uh, the preview, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember the preview, yes. Um, you know what, now that you're online, just... 
Daniela, eat your food. Eat. Can you? You guys are distracting me. TJ, put your leg down. Put your leg down and eat your food. Uh, give me the. You know what? Let me let me look for somewhere less distracting. It, if I come back and you guys have not eaten, I'll be very, very upset. Daddy will be angry. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Danny boy, how are you? Is all well? Oh, you all is not well. All is not well. DJ fell and hit his head. He's bleeding. Oh, I'm so angry right now. I am so angry. Let me just report your daughter to you. No, let me report her. Can you believe that Uju walked out on us? Sorry. Us, her family. What is this one now? Eh? But look, let's focus on Junior for now. Eh? We'll discuss with you later. Uh, how is he doing? Oh, he's crying. Are you near the hospital? Almost, almost. And that's another thing. I have asked that Uchu of a woman for the doctor's number. She has refused to respond. Uh, have you seen uh, such see, a Just concentrate on your driving, eh? Um, I'll get the doctor's number. How will I get it? Will, will you call her? Or if you do, just tell her. Uh, 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 no, I'm not calling her. I have the number. Uh, just wait, I'll be right back. What's the name of that doctor that attends to the children at the hospital? Mm. Dr. Maka Idris. <laughs> um, why? It's for my friend. Her son had an accident. Oh, wow. Is, is, is everything... What did Dr. Maka say? Is well with him. How is DJ handling the situation? You know, DJ, really laughing and trying to play with Daniela. Thank God. Chai, my heart can calm down now. Eh? Okay. You people should stay well, though. <laughs> Don't like involving myself in people's business. I know. Mm -hmm. But uh, what happened, Seth? I can't explain. Small misunderstanding. The, 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 the madam just left the house. Uh, she didn't tell me that. Could it have anything to do with uh, the day that I came to the house? I saw her in a terrible state. She was in tears. Okay. I wonder why. I really wish I could do, but um, I broke my leg yesterday. Mom, what did you mention? Are you okay? My dear, I thank God for everything. Oh. Uh, thank God it's not worse than that, you know, with my weight. I thank God it is fine. I'm, I'm, I'm managing. I didn't want to trouble you and um, Uju. 
because I know how Uju is. She's very caring. She would have started running down here to take care of me. So, but I'm, I'm fine. I'm managing. Eh? Don't worry. Eh? You and the children can handle anything that comes your way. Eh? I'll be praying for you. Eh? One bye. Daniela, go and check if your mommy is upstairs, okay? He's already laughing and playing. <laughs> Thank God. I kept praying for them. You know how children can be very nonchalant, but we adults, we always panic over everything. That's true. Uh, how are you feeling now? I'm sorry I had to wake you up. Uh, I'm fine. A lot better. I feel like I've slept so much. It's almost like I haven't slept in my life. <laughs> Your body needs it. I'm just so worried, you know. Daniel, the kids, I miss them. They are fine. I promised you I'll be on top of that, didn't I? Yes, you did. It's just that I just feel very guilty, you know. Just sitting down here, doing nothing. Nothing? It's only women who feel guilty for taking time out for themselves. Your husband took one week off. Do you think he felt guilty? This is different. What's different about it? Before either of you is a man or woman, you are human. Is it some sort of revenge? Revenge. <laughs> this is me forcing you to decompress so that you can return stronger physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Then you can go home, a better mother to your children, and a better wife to your husband. That's all I wanted. I just needed, you know, little time to myself. Mm -hmm. So relax. Mm? Allow yourself to be taken care of. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I mean, I feel like you've been spoiling me silly. <laughs> thank you. I just hope that Daniel would at least open the fridge and not stuff my kids with noodles. Oh, go ahead, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Help me. Huh? What am I supposed to do now? Listen, um, come here, sit, sit, sit. <clears throat> you okay? Tonight, mm, I'll order pizza and ice cream for us, okay? Yay! <laughs> yeah, you like that? Oh, sit, sit, sit. Um, I'm going to the next stop, all right? Please, I beg you in God's name, do not get up from this chair, okay? 
Okay. If you do, no more pizza, no more ice cream. No more pizza, no more ice cream. Okay? Good. Come. What's your brother? Pleasure. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, I'm having a situation right here. It's, it's a bit awkward. Oh, let me guess. So your wife left you, and you need someone to dump your kids on. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, just listen to me, okay? It, it, it's just for tomorrow morning, and I'll pay. So how much are we talking about here? 30k? <laughs> really? Is it for beans and the dough? If you're serious, double the money and I'll see what I can do. Double? How bad? What is what are you? Mr. Daniel, are you doing or you're not doing? I mean you can always call those agents that send witches to people's houses, huh? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Deal. Deal. Hmm. Payment is daily to avoid stories that touch. It's fine. It's fine. Good. I'll see what I can do. So I'll get back to you. Get back to me? I thought we just concluded. And I just said I'll get back to you. It's just to. It's for two. Peggy! Peggy! Yeah? Yeah? Did I ask you to sit? Jerome, give me a big. <laughs> Anyways, I finally found you a job. Okay. Yes, you know our shouting neighbors. Yeah. Looks like his wife finally left him with the kids and ran. Oh, that's terrible. That's their business. So he needs somebody to watch his kids few hours a day. So you think I should go for the job? The job is secondary. Look, you need to enter there. Watch the kids. Woo him a little. Knock him once and boom! You don't find better papa for your picking. <laughs> Chicken, <Ha>. uh. <laughs> Which one is her? I mean, you've already refused to do the reasonable thing. Jeremiah, you make it sound so easy. I'll ruin his life. How, Peggy? Tell me how. His wife is not there. And your own life, Kukuma, is already ruined by a member of his gender. So what are we talking about? You have a new job, oh. Congratulations. Whoa. One sec. Uh. Be right back. Hi. Hi. Um, so I am not the person you need for this job. My cousin here is. I don't like it. Uh, so yeah, you can have her. Make all the plants you need. See you. Please come in. So you don't like it too? <laughs> I hate that. It was it was just a joke. Okay. My name is Daniel. 
Uh, and I'm so grateful you're doing this. It's not a favor. I'm getting paid, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, you, you definitely are getting paid. Uh, I'm coming, okay? Uh, it's tomorrow I need to be in my office. I have a very important meeting to attend. They say three hours, four hours max if we had traffic. Okay. Get the kids dressed and washed before I get here. Before? I thought you were supposed to do all that. <laughs> Mr. Daniel, I'm not your wife. <laughs> I'm not your house help. You need somebody to watch your kids and that's all I'm here to do. <sighs> okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know how much your cousin told you, but my wife left. Okay, and I don't know how to do a lot of these things. So I was hoping... You were hoping I would encourage you in your ineptitude. Hey, come on. I won't. I'm a good teacher and that's what I do. What time do you leave tomorrow? Eight, eight, eight. Good, I'll be here by seven. Seven? For what? For your first lesson. <sighs> Uh, are you going somewhere? Yes, I told you I'll be at work early. I know that. I'm just surprised that you want to bathe your kids fully dressed. That's all. Yeah, uh, about that, I was wondering if you could give seats. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come here, come here, hurry up. Come, come, come. Real quick. Uh -huh. Don't forget their bags. What? Sorry. Uh. Go, see, see, see. Princess, go, go, go. Go, go. Go. You could have helped me, you know. You could have helped. Why should I? It's not my responsibility, is it? It's yours. Don't you have a conscience? I told you I was running late. That's on you. You're the one that got them ready today. Tomorrow morning, do better. Princess, what are your bag, eh? Put your seatbelt on. Okay, good. Uh, you go upstairs. I'll come and meet you guys, okay? Okay. Up, 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 you show up two hours after you said you'd be here. There's no excuse. I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. You know, I know your type. Men who don't respect people. Men who make promises but have no intentions of keeping them. Here's my account number. You should have transferred for today. Can I at least go upstairs and take off my suit and... <laughs> no. Then I will not hear that as you were taking your coats off and your phone fell, the screen broke, app crashed. Mm -mm. Oh, come Please on, do it now. It's, it's not that deep now. I said I'm sorry. Let me see. Good. Yeah, sorry, um, didn't your mother come to check on them today? No one cares. 
him. Uh, oh, wait, sister. Mm -hmm. Please. I was hoping if you would consider... No, to... forget it. I can't work with people that take me for granted or people I can't trust. Please, no, please. I, I said I'm sorry. What happened today will not happen again. Oh, yes, maybe some part of me took it for granted, but it won't happen again. I promise. I, I have to be at work tomorrow and there's nobody to, to, to watch over them, okay? I, please, I can't replace you now. I'm begging you. Please, one last time. Last chance. Last chance. Yes. Tomorrow at seven. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I don't understand what's happening to me. I'm so tired. It's like you don't understand what's going on inside your body. Abby? And by the way, Shay, the plan was for you to seduce our bobo. What's with you fighting with him? He's so annoying, eh? Like, it's the entitled way he assumes I would just do everything he wants, even after I've expressly said no. Huh. Well, sister, it's a man's thing. Mm. They are extremely selfish humans, eh? That's but, I mean, you have a goal. There's no time, oh, Peggy. Do you have a choice? Peggy, you don't get choice. I've heard. Daddy, you can't wear a pyjama now. You have to bathe first. Daniela, the bathing of this morning is enough. Eh? Tomorrow morning, you bathe again. But that's not how mommy does it. That's because mommy is special. Come, let me put you to bed. Daddy has work to do, okay? Come back and take it to camp me, alright? Blessing mommy and daddy. Miss mm. mm. mommy and baby. Mm, miss them too. Thank God. We've been missing them. Get mind, though. Uju, you have mind. Where is my baby? Where is my baby? One of these children you carried for nine months. How, how, how could you just abandon them? At least come back and check on them. What is your pro Every day they're asking me, where is their mother? Where is their mother? They miss you. I miss you.
Oh, my Danny boy, how are you? And how are my grandchildren? Uh, I'm okay, Mom. Just put them to bed. Well done, my boy. So you worked from home today? No, I didn't. What? <laughs> I know. You're wondering what I did with your kids. Uh, my neighbor helped. Where to? Which of your neighbors? Not that one that goes around in pieces of cloth. Is that the person you left my children with? Mom, your mouth too sharp. Which one is to <laughs> No, but it's not her, it's her cousin, uh, the one from Akure. This one, she wears clothes. Thank you, Jesus. How is she? Is she good with the kids? Well, the kids, they, they love her, uh, but she hates me. I don't know why. Ah, that's good, though. I like her even more. <laughs> Mom, what's good there? That the kids love her and she hates me? Honestly, both. You shouldn't forget you're a married man. Am I? You are. Very much so. Mom, am I still a married man? Because to be honest, I'm not sure anymore. How? Mom, how? I've not heard from Uju since she left this house. I've tried everything I can to contact her. Mom, I've been boxing the air trying to figure out what is going on. You are the head of your home. Ask God for wisdom. Have you ever shown love to someone? Have you ever tell a story you don't know? Now you try to paint a line, you're so blind. Hey. Hope you had a good night rest. <laughs> so, I have a new strategy. You get downstairs sorted first, then the kids. Then, while you're watching them, I get myself ready. Second strategy. Hmm. No more milk and cereal, okay? Don't like that combination. It gives opportunity for spills and accidents. Do you ever talk or smile? Okay. Don't do that again. Jeez. <sighs> Apparently there is soup and stew in the fridge. Do you mind boiling? No. I mean boil rice. I meant no. <laughs> Let me remind you one last time. I am not your wife. <laughs> when you come back, I will instruct you on how to boil rice for you and your children. And then I'll watch you make a bath so you can have something for your soup. I don't even know what to say. You're welcome. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay. And my work here today is done. <sighs> Why don't you stay? It's not like you're rushing to beat traffic. Wait. Is that what I think it was? Did you just smile? No, I didn't. <laughs> I should go. Please, stay, eat with us. Okay, okay. fine, I'll stay. <laughs> okay. Ah, finally. <laughs> the kids, they are, they are sleeping. Nice. Nice. Thank you so much for staying back. Sorry. I really, really do. You couldn't use your church mind to help me and clear all this? Is that why you asked me to stay back? You were hoping I would help you carry some of your load? No. No? Actually, why I asked you to stay back was because I miss talking to an adult whenever I come back home. Okay, okay, and I figured while you were here, you could, you know, help out with some... Why would I? You're really strange. <laughs> I'm not strange. It's because you hear, but you don't listen. I'm not going to do anything more than I'm here to do. Sorry, you. Mm-hmm. I cleared the table myself. No guess. Cool. Ah. Okay. It's just to help me. Huh? Small, small wash plates. People don't invest. It doesn't have to be this way. I'm begging you, please. I know, I'm sorry, just... <sighs> Does the ice cream melt? <laughs> you know, you're very lucky I don't have something strong enough to hit you with. <laughs> <laughs> That's much better. Are you okay? I hate you guys. Whoa, whoa. Is there anyone in particular? The whole rubbish bunch of you. <laughs> wow. This is... And here I was thinking that this hatred was personally for me. I feel so much better 
knowing that it's for my whole gender. Oh God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me. What did we do? It's the deception. You know, I mean, why go through all that trouble? Lying, make sweet promises, and then when it's time to step up, you bail. I guess we were just foolish or we don't understand the impact of what we are doing. Yeah, but why tell someone you love them, make them fall for you when you feel nothing for them? I mean, some of us, we are wicked. No doubt we are. You are better off. Trust me. It's better you found out now than later when you've gotten deep with this person. Hey. Soon. Very soon. The good guys will come for you. They will line up. Drawn to your non-existent smile. Your pleasant, helpful, gentle personality. <laughs> You're such a fool. <laughs> I'll take that. But hey, on a more serious note, you'll be fine. And on behalf of the main association, I want to say I am sorry for hurting you. No, oh God. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sure one of us will do right by you, so. Okay, stop being nice. Enough about me. <sighs> what was the big thing that's happening to me where I walk here wanted to tell the children? It's just a huge opportunity at work for me. Okay. It was my brainchild idea. Mm. And my boss told me to relay it to the board. And if they accepted, I'm getting a promotion. Oh, that's... Huge. Well yes, done. Yes, I mean, I want this so badly, so badly. A promotion will do me a lot of good. My family, I'll provide a lot of things for them. So, family is important to you? Family is everything to me. My wife, my kids. I'm okay when they are okay. You know that, right? Madam Helper, why are you just coming in? Overtime at work. <sighs> Have you done the do? No. He just asked me to stay for dinner and after we just got talking. And what is with the soft voice? <laughs> Nothing. I just, I just wish I met someone like him first. Peggy, we are on a mission to solve a problem. Don't forget. Look, men, they can't stand being alone for too long. And if his wife continues to remain absent, then you can just use the Amy Lucon strategy and shoot your shot. Ugh. I told ya! Huh. You won't believe of all day, of all day, my village people remembered me today. My alarm didn't wake me up. It didn't. <sighs> you give them breakfast and all those Don't things. worry, don't worry. Um... Don't worry about this. I'll handle the kids today. Uh, what 
What do you mean? I mean, I will sort all this out. You will bathe them? <laughs> yes. Feed them? Yes. Take them to school? Yeah. You are not planning on eating my kids, are you? Hmm. I can't really promise. I mean, DJ especially looks delicious. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I, I won't forget this, okay? I won't forget this. I swear it. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Pizza night? Uh, no, but we can make it one. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Did you abandon my kids to go somewhere because you looked all changed up? Uh, no, I didn't. They were asleep when I left. I felt a little uncomfortable, so I just threw this on. I get it. Yeah. So, how was your day? Fantastic. You should have seen their faces. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ju. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. No worries. Um, I'm sure you got the pizza today, so you won't cook. You know me too well. <laughs> uh, well, it's just for celebration. That's it. All right, well, I made party jollof. The kids have had their bath, they've eaten, and they are in bed. No way. Yes. Where is the evil witch? Where, oh where my is god, it? I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I just uh, I go upstairs okay. and you know, refresh up, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Wow, this is good. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. It's my treat. Just relax and get comfortable. I swear, you are really malfunctioning because <laughs> this is your small, small changes. Just be giving it to me small, small. Because <laughs> so you're giving me silly. Bus. <laughs> better. Okay. <sighs> First of all, I want to thank you for everything. I don't know how to thank you for everything you've done for me. You have been a lifesaver. The pleasure is all mine. Shh. Don't say anything, okay? Most importantly, I want to thank you for now. you want. 
Do you know what you've made me realize? What? What a selfish fool I have been. Oh God, please help me. Come on, it's not that big of a deal. We're two consenting adults. <laughs> Do you know if you stand right here naked, nothing will happen. Sex is the last thing on my mind. That is how exhausted I am. Like I, I feel someone should move my body up to my bedroom and lay me down to sleep. Oh. Which made me remember the days. Would you? I was very tired. And I called her selfish. I was grumpy. But still, she would change her mind, dash into the bathroom, take a shower, come back and give me good sex. She's not here. Yeah, she's not. We work well together. We do. The kids think I'm awesome. They do. Then what is it? You are not my wife. That is the problem. Please leave my house. Daniel. I will transfer your money to you for today. Okay, just leave. There's no need for that. Today was on me. No, no, no. It's it's only fair I pay you. Okay, my phone is upstairs. Once I lay hands on it, I'll transfer your money. And tomorrow. I'll let you know. Please leave. Is it over? That was fast. He must be a five minutes man. I mean, from the way he walks, one can tell this one won't last long. Peggy. Don't tell me you're feeling guilty or something like that. Look, it's a dog eat dog world. Survivor of the fetus kind of thing. I'm going home. Hey, Peggy, Peggy. <laughs> Baby sis, underestimated you. No, you need to tell me, what kind of style did you give our neighbor to make him ask you to move in immediately? No, not doing that. So where exactly is the home you're going to? Because it can't be accurate. With that thing in your tummy, your parents are going to kill you. Then better pay me your last respects. Peggy! What has gotten into you? We had a plan. If it didn't work tonight, you try again tomorrow. Stop. Please, just... Just stop. I sat down there just being rejected by this man. It just shocked me how far I've gone down this rabbit hole. So let me go home. Let them kill me. If they don't and throw me out, then I'll find a way. I mean, I, I know I will suffer, but at least I'll be the one suffering. Not somebody else. Well, I guess you've made up your mind to go home. That's fine. So it's rest in peace then. No. I, I do. I, 
And it, you know what frightens me more? Is what if I don't get you back? The thought of you not coming back to me. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. God, just... Just give me one more chance. What I'm trying to say is I was wrong and I am sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. When we stay together. Feel the lovely weather uh -huh. Say sweet words to one another uh -huh. Hold you closer and never let you go No matter what they say I want you No matter how they feel I need you I'll do just to be with you and the most of all I love you baby I love you uh, getting closer and closer <laughs> oh. always and forever with you Yes, really. I just want to appreciate you and say thank you for everything you did for us. Thank you for coming in, stepping in at the time that you did. I don't know what would have happened to me or the kids or even Daniel. But right now, I think I'm ready. How? What will be different? I'm in a better place. Yeah, all the bitterness and um, sadness, all of that is dropped right now. I just want to go home. I'm so happy to hear that. And your husband is ready to hear it too. Daniel, how do you know that? Oh, you're still here asking me questions. Let's go! Let me change.
Fresh. <laughs> I just needed rest. Yes. I know. We need to talk. Are you leaving? What? Of course not. No. Do you want me to leave? God forbid. Why, why would you say such a thing? You're here. Can you you wanna talk? I am willing to listen. I'm ready to listen, baby. Let's talk. Okay? Okay. Let's talk. You want to talk? Let's talk. I will listen. It just... It just felt like I was drowning. And my head was just filled with dark thoughts. I just felt so alone, like, I just felt alone. I am so sorry. So, so sorry. And I promise it will be better, okay? You know, the scariest part was when I thought you were never going to come back. Especially when I took DJ to the hospital and you, you didn't respond. What? Hospital? What, what happened to DJ? He fell from the from the table and I took you. I, I told you. Oh, oh, brother, I sent a, a voice note. I sent uh, it. I did, Nandi. I didn't get any voice notes from you. He sent it. If I had told you, you would have come rushing home. Mommy, my son had an accident and you didn't think to tell me. Well, I'm his mother. He needed me. He needed a parent. Daniel was here and I was monitoring the situation. He needed to face some responsibility. What if you had dropped dead? God forbid. God forbid indeed. But that's where you were headed. Did you see how the doctor shouted when he saw your, your blood pressure readings? If you had come home then, nothing would have changed. Well, well that was my choice to make. Mommy is right. We would have come back to status quo. I can see that now. So, mommy, that's why you were calling every five minutes. And I was thinking you were calling because you're worried about your son. So, you were busy aiding and abetting a fugitive. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how to feel, to be honest. I don't, I don't know how to feel about your involvement in all of this. It's not fair. You allowed your son to suffer. Me. Not suffer, dear. But to learn a lesson. I gave birth to you. I raised you. Your failure is my failure. I couldn't let you lose this wonderful woman God blessed you with. Thank you, Mom. You had uncles and aunties, cousins, 
in the house when you were growing up. The house was always full. But in spite of all that help, I was always worn out. Yes. The super mother of yours was suffering and smiling. And my body paid the price. High blood pressure, ulcers. All that shouting I used to do was just frustration seeping through. Two of you, you have a good thing going here. You two love each other. Do this marriage thing together. At the end of the day, it's going to be just the two of you. I know what you're trying to do. What am I doing? You are trying to distract me. It's my turn today, babe. Oh. I need to get them ready for 7.30. Stop being competitive, okay? Come back to bed. No, I'm not being competitive. You know what? I'll do the kids while you do breakfast. Let's just... Two, 30 more minutes, 30 more minutes, okay, go ahead. I'm the man of the house, you know? Babe. Come here. Wait, I thought you said you want us to sleep some more. Uh, this is part of the sleep. <laughs> it's not bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. 